date has been, Miss Fairfax. Pray, don't talk to me about the weather, Mr. Smith. Whenever people talk to me about the weather, I always feel quite certain that they mean something else. And that makes me so nervous. I do mean something else. <laughs> Miss Fairfax, ever since I met you, I've admired you more than any girl <coughs> I have ever met since. I met you. <coughs> Absolutely indifferent to me. I adore you, but you haven't proposed to me yet. Nothing has been said at all about marriage. The subject has not even been touched on. Well, may I propose to you now, then? Married at. 
I have always been of opinion that the man who desires to marry should either know everything or nothing. Which do you know? I know nothing, Lady Brassel. I am pleased to hear it. I do not agree with that can Ignorance is like a delicate, exotic fruit. Touch it, and the bloom is gone. <laughs> now, to my matter, are your parents living? I have lost both my parents. To lose one parent, Mr. Worthing, may be regarded as a misfortune. To lose both looks like carelessness. Who <laughs> was it, Mark? I'm afraid I really don't know. You can see, Lady Bracken, I admit that I've lost my parents. It would have been nearer to the truth to say that parents seem to have lost me. You see, I don't know who I am by birth. I was. I was found. Ah! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 